Hey everybody, welcome to this week's weekly webisode. My name is Michael and I'm joined here with the man himself, Woo! Mr. Ian. Pump! <laughs> and we will be breaking down the sermon from Sunday as um, Pastor Adam brought yeah. his, the sermon title was The Potter's Wheel. Yeah. And um, this is around our monthly theme of mold me and make me, mm. which also follows our yearly theme of a year to bow, bend and break. Bow, bend and break. And yeah. what a fitting, what, like just what a fitting theme for this year. Like yeah. we were yeah. talking about it at youth circles, um, about how it's such a timely word, totally. like a timely theme. Let's get excited <laughs> to, to bow and break and yeah. bend. Like, and how exci- it, it's, it's not exciting, like, yeah. str- like when you like say the words out, but mm. it's exciting in the sense of like, let's get real, you yeah. know, let's, let's get deep, you yeah. know what I mean? So and like, we were like, we were talking about our youth circles and just the, the, the meaning of it. Cause like this year is going to look so different in terms of, you know, church and, um, what church looks like, yeah. uh, what we look like as a community, as a church what our relationships look like, whether that's at school, at home, here mm. in the church. And like, God's gonna do things to like, to, um, to mold us and make us into yeah. like, almost like tools, specific tools that like, vessels. that are equipped. Yeah, vessels, yeah, yeah I like it, I like it. But yeah, well, like vessels, vessels that are, you know, equipped to carry his word in a season like this. Yeah, you know, 100%. It's so easy to worry about everything that's going on with like COVID and like how it's affecting relationships, families, workplaces. Yeah, And all that kind of relevant. stuff. So yeah, like the theme, it's just so godly, so timely like yeah. for a season yeah. like this. Yeah. So timely, man. Yeah, so with Pastor Adam's sermon on Sunday, the first point that he had was the potter creates the wheel. And... Um, I don't know much about pottery, but Pastor Adam went so in depth with um, the wheel itself and yeah. like how the wheel needs to uh, almost be, you know, perfect, smooth, and like it can't be wobbly, it can't be like yeah. broken yeah, that and was everything like that. Yeah. yeah, and like I never thought about it. <laughs> like I thought they just throw it on any type of like wheel, get it spinning, and then that's yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like that. Like that makes so much sense actually, because. If there were bumps in it, if there was like dirt on it, that would like easily get into the clay totally. and that kind of stuff. And yeah. like he was just going so in depth about like how that could affect the way it, the way it shapes, the way it comes out. Like if there are any bubbles and stuff like that. He was talking about like bubbles and yeah, yeah, dirt yeah. getting into it and all that yeah, kind of yeah, stuff, which bubble. I didn't know about. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The bubble. Get, if there's like a little bubble left mm. inside the clay when it before it's placed into like an oven where it gets heated and all that sort of stuff. It actually explodes, <laughs> which is crazy. Yeah. yeah. I mean, some of us can kind of relate to that in a sense, you know, mm. us not being perfect, but that's why, um, you know, he's got to get the bubbles out in our mm. life, you know, yep. before he puts, puts um, the, the clay into the wheel. Absolutely. It's just, it's just, it's just mind boggling. Like I know yeah. so much <laughs> about pottery yeah. from this sermon series. It's yeah. like, it's like, it's like I'm back in, in primary school, you know, yeah, learning yeah, arts yeah. and crafts, you know yeah. what I mean? You're oh. getting excited. Oh, let's do arts and crafts. <laughs> yeah, but like, there's like so much teaching in that as well. Oh like, man, it's so related. Yeah, it's... like the potter being like, in our case in the sermon, like God is the potter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like, who better to be the potter than God? And like, he, like he knows, he made the wheel, like, let's like, Pastor Adam related the wheel as to the earth. Mm. And like, how specific, how particular God was in creating yeah. the earth. Yeah. And that it spins at a certain, like, Pastor Adam got Speed like real and- mathematical. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, My mind was like, mathematical. <laughs> and I was like trying <laughs> yeah, to jam it I don't remember those yeah, numbers. I couldn't. But man. Yeah, he did a lot of Staggering lot of numbers though. Like, <laughs> yeah. didn't even know that we travel like hundred, hundreds of thousand kilometers yeah. an hour, like, with, you know, just from orbiting around the sun. Mm. And then not only that, but like the galaxy moving around in the universe. Anyway. Yeah, crazy stuff. <laughs> <laughs> My brother, he's so good. He loves that stuff too. It's yeah. fantastic. But when it comes to numbers, I just... I yeah, remember. I kind of zone out too. But <laughs> I'm just, just oh man, but it's but, yeah. so, so fascinating. Though. Yeah, and like how particular he was in the sense of like, Pastor Adam was also talking about if we were to go any faster or any slower at, at like different, yeah. at any different speed, if the earth were to spin at any different speed, like it would be chaos. Yeah, it'd be catastrophic. <laughs> yeah, right? It'll Gosh. be like non, like how crazy to think like God designed it in the way 
and a certain Perfect. speed to move in a certain way for us to like live within the atmosphere yeah. and like to live safely in the atmosphere, like to breathe, breathe the air mm. and, and eat and yeah. like all the, all the little things, like he nails it down to like hundred percent yeah yeah it's just so like he's so particular and yeah stuff like that. and when when it when um talking about timing adding mm. on to that pastor adam elaborated a bit more about um you know sometimes we we can think <clears throat> like oh god's a bit slow oh you yeah know, i need this now god yeah. like come on seriously oh. like i'm struggling here my finances and yeah. um like i've just had enough of this like god why, why are you not doing anything about yeah. it but you know, a lot of the timing is it, it's by precision mm. and it's by his planning. Yeah. You know, we may not we may not like it, but you know, at the end of the yeah. day, he's the potter. Yeah, and, and like I'll clay. be honest, that's been me. Like some oh, things man. in my life, I'm so like, oh, relatable. can you can you hurry like, it oh, up? Man. Yeah, I'm like we want really... it now, and like oh, we want the blessings now. Like I want to be blessed right now. And that, yeah. like, I want you to bless my friend, like right now, God. Like come on. Like finances, like oh, I don't have any finances, and some emergency funds need yeah. to come, and like a car breaks down. It's like yeah. God, oh, this man. is the wrong timing. Why would you do this to me? You yeah, know? yeah. Well, like, yeah, Bow God's so break. particular in that kind of stuff. Like, if he's yeah. that particular in the way the earth moves, the way it spins, the speed at which it spins mm. at, and, like, how we're all able to live under its atmosphere yeah. within its, like, within its, within the clouds, like, underneath the clouds and the sea levels and just everything that God designed. Yeah. And, like, the way he fashioned the earth to keep, like, his design good. Yeah. Because, yeah. like, after creation, like, after he sat back and he said, this is good. Yeah. And like, that's only because he went to every single little detail that God knew that he would, like, have to implement. In, totally. In, if that makes sense. Yeah. And, like, yeah, all of that from pottery. Yeah. <laughs> all of that pottery. from pottery. Yeah. Wow. That's, that's, you can get yeah. so much from, like, a simple, like, I mean, it's more than simple. It's an amazing craft. Absolutely. Like, yeah. like just, it's, 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 a, it's amazing how you can learn so much from pottery. Yeah, absolutely. What was the second point? Um, so the second point he had was the potter places the clay on the wheel. Yeah, so yeah. centering the clay. Like when you place clay onto the wheel, it has to be centered. Mm. And Pastor explaining, uh, Pastor Adam was explaining that if it's not centered, there'll be like it'll be a bit lopsided. Yeah. Or like there'll be a side where like it's real droopy, or one side that's real strong, and the other side's like real weak. Yeah. And yeah. that kind of stuff. And like that's that. Again, like I, I don't know much about pottery, but I thought you just slam it on the wheel, yeah, and then you get to work. Like yeah, I, yeah. I thought no, that's how it goes. Um, yeah, it's crazy. Being centered, yeah, on the wheel is it, well, this is the, how Pastor Adam described it. Being mm. centered on the wheel is being centered in God. If yep. you're not centered in God or centered in Christ in the right position. It's like once it's spinning, you're just going to be so you're not going to be formed properly. Mm. You're not going to be, um, yeah. yeah you I, might even get thrown off the wheel. You're thrown off the like, wheel. Yeah, like yeah, you, totally. Or you might not even be able. He might not even be able to do anything. Yeah. Like in a, in a sense of like he might not be able to mold that certain yeah. situation in your life because you're not centered. Yeah, yeah. And like that's a scary place to be. Yeah. <laughs> you're not centered with God. It's a scary place. It is. It is a scary place. Mm. Like. Um, it's it's so easy for us to want to move, mm. you know, like, oh, you know, I, I, I really, I love God, but, oh, man, you know, I really, really want to push forward in my career and this, you know, yeah. like, and then, you, you know, you, you lose time with God or you lose time with what really matters, family even. Mm. Um, so, like, placement. Yeah. So I think in the first, the first point he says, you know the speed of the wheel is 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 um was one big point mm. timing and then the second um he talks about placement place yeah. so timing and place are very very important with our forming or you know god putting us together yeah. as a beautiful vessel Absolutely. like these things sitting on the on the top of the table like <laughs> being perfectly round it's it's just interesting about yeah. how like perfectly round they are and from the spinning creates that that unique unique look mm. um but then the third point yep. um the hands are there to shape us and this is what i got out of that point like we have to let his hands um mold us and shape us oh, yeah. purpose 100 um 
I mean, what I got, got out of the first point was timing, place, um, placement, and purpose. Like, you know, God is going, going to, to shape you. Mm. And if you don't let him shape you, you know, that, that, that's obviously altering the whole pottery process. Absolutely. So, and yeah. like Pastor Adam was also opening up about the hands and that he made a point that there has to be coordination in the eyes and the hands because they work together. So like when right. I think about that, like you're, you're probably not going to see a potter who is not constantly looking at his hands. Like you, I, I reckon in my opinion, there'll be like a really bad potter will just like kind of freestyle mold it, not even look yeah. at it and like just kind of shape it without looking at it. Yeah. And like, I feel that's, that God's the total opposite. Like his hands are working with your life. Like he's moving this back in to shape it again. Mm -hmm. Or like he's moved, like his eyes and his hands are just on like our lives. And yeah. like just constantly moving in between his hands and like his eyes as well are watching like are there any yeah are there any lopsides are there any are there any like dents in it is there any any part like not shaping up right is there something i have to like do i have to stop for a bit do i have to do i have to read do i have to add more clay and that kind of stuff like it they're always it, that was a good point by pastor adam that the hands and the eyes are always working together yeah and like he also said that the hands need to be sensitive like soft like the hands itself, like a potter's hands will be really smooth. There won't be like marks or bumps on them or anything yeah. like that. And like, which makes total sense when you're working with like pottery. Cause like wow. the, like you're, you're smoothing it out pretty much yeah. and you're shaping it and your hands would really affect that. Yeah. And, well, I think they would really affect the outcome of the pottery and like what it becomes to look like and what it like the end product becomes. And like, I feel like that's so relevant in God, like God's, shaping us and molding us as we go and like he's constantly keeping an eye on what it like if this if it becomes out of line like he'll slowly move it back yeah. in bend it mold it back into what it needs to be yeah and that kind of stuff and i find that just beautiful because mm. like, like again like god is so particular and like the things yeah. he wants like for our lives and like how he's working with us now how he's going to use us in the future and like how he's going to heal our past and like how he's going to do everything just to Aligned into this beautiful like yeah. pot in a sense, yeah, <laughs> yeah if that yeah, makes yeah. sense, yeah, yeah, and, and um, a pot that has purpose, yeah, you know, and um, I just it's just fascinating, like you know, at at the end of the day, are are we moldable, yeah, you know, like that's that's what I get out of this whole sermon mm. um, about the forming and shaping, like we have to tackle on, like take on Christianity as this whole process of mm. being created as a vessel that is usable for the kingdom absolutely and it's it's just it's interesting how like pastor adam even touched on it a little bit as uh, about how a lot of churches are called potter's house mm. you know like td jake's church and um, there's a whole yeah. um, um movement itself called potter's house as well which is separate mm. and it's just a fast it's it's i never really understood the name and how it is actually relevant for us being in the potter's house to form mm. into these vessels and vessels they don't you know like this here you know it just it just sits there <laughs> you know like this this vessel's not jumping around doing anything like mm. it's full purpose is for the user to come in and you know it can be placed like 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 with plants look mm. beautiful we could be there to like pour water mm. to drink and and it's all about servitude you know it's purely about us serving Absolutely. being created to yeah. serve to the utmost possibility or the capacity. And mm. can you imagine how frustrated like the potter could be with us sometimes? <laughs> yeah. You know, like oh, so many times we we don't want to be formed, you know. It's yeah. like, you know, I know what I'm doing. Yeah. Like I got this. Like I'm I'm 18 years old. Oh, I'm man. an adult. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know, yeah, we've all been there. Oh, you know, yeah, we, we've all been there. Yeah. It's like, you can't, you don't need to tell me what to do. I can yeah. do whatever I yeah, want. You know, I, I got my own job. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it, it's, it's, man, it's crazy when we think like when God has so much patience, you know, mm. sometimes you just got to take us back out because we're not listening. Yeah. You got to mash <laughs> oh, us again man. and yeah. start over, put us right in the middle. Yeah. And then some, somehow down the track, we might go a little bit off center. And it might get thrown off the potter's wheel. Oh yeah. And have to get 
throw them back on to get reshaped again. Yeah. And that's not a very fun process. No, it is not. Being reshaped. Yeah. Ah, man. Deep. <laughs> Deep. Well, that's why I love it. Yeah. Um, yeah, that brings uh, that actually brings me back to our youth circle because we after we watched the webisode. Yeah. Um, like last week's webisode, last week, we yeah. we watched awesome. a bunch of yeah we yeah. watched a bunch of a bunch of like pottery fails and like bloopers like when pottery <laughs> doesn't go <laughs> doesn't go the way you want it to. Really. <laughs> and like there was a lot of like restarts and there was a lot of like like a lot of cr- like some would like crample in some would like mm. you know bend out a bit and like you, so right. some of them you'd have to like start all over again like you'd have to smash it up and then start all over again and like i was talking to the youth like mate like sometimes god has to do that with us <laughs> like oh, sometimes god's got us on the wheel yeah molding us and then and he's, he's so just focused gotta, he's like yeah. come on and then <laughs> like god just has to smash it all down know, and start right. again it's like, <laughs> like sometimes he has to do that what are you doing god why are you doing this to me <laughs> yeah what and like mean? it's it's confronting sometimes when god uh-huh. just has to like smash it all down and be like yeah. you know what we're gonna start again yeah like you've we just gotta start again <laughs> how annoying is <laughs> oh, the man. idea of starting all over again starting like, all over again after like, all the the molding and the you know watching. years of growing in this company yeah. or, you know, growing in this area. Yeah, and like and start over. Yeah, and then God's like, no, nope, let's do that again. <laughs> and like, yeah, I'd like I was like obviously like when we see like pottery like bloopers or like any kind of bloopers like that when like we've had to start all over again, like we get a bit of a laugh out of that. Yeah, like, we, <laughs> like you have to smash it and start all over again. But mm. like sometimes like God really needs to do that. Mm. Like sometimes God's like needs a clean slate to just be like, I need you to be moldable. I yeah. need you to, I need you to just trust me. I need you to Ugh. just follow everything. Just follow everything I've got out for you, and just don't worry. Yeah. Like just you've got to trust me. Yeah, yeah. And like that's that's a reality. Like 100%. sometimes we need to like come back. Like we need to come all the way back where God has to like smash down that clay yeah. and like start all over again. Yeah. Because like we've just gone. You know what, God? I can do this myself. I'm out of here. <laughs> I'm, I can do this all myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow, that's so good. Spot yeah. on, man. I love and, it. And um, I just wanted to bring the scripture that he brought up as well about um, Samuel, First Samuel 16, 7, where he's talking about, like where he's looking for the next king. Yeah, and yeah, he's Jesse. Talking about, yeah, yeah, and yeah. talking about the sons and like he's gone through every single one of them. And like Samuel's Jesse's like son. so, yeah, yeah he, he's like right, so yeah. impressed by all of them. He's like, look like physical stature that it was talking about in the scripture the appearance of them like samuel must have surely looked this man's like, the king yeah, yeah this looks like a king yeah. right here and like god kept saying no nah, that's not him that's not him not next one next one that's not him either and like samuel must have been like he must have been like come on like you're telling me all of these aren't the king aren't the next king and like so samuel had to just trust god like he just had to be like okay none of them are king so who is the king yeah. And then here comes David. Yeah. You know, messy. He's probably probably the smells of the litter. Probably smells no good. Yeah. Um, out from the field. You know, he walks into the house. Smell like the then, sheep. Yeah. And stuff. yeah. <laughs> he probably doesn't smell too good. Probably doesn't look too good. Looks really rough. Yeah. And then God goes, That's him. That's the king right there. And like sometimes, like that can that can relate to pottery as well. Like sometimes our vessels don't look like yeah. another person's vessel. Like it doesn't look the same, and sometimes we go like, "But God, mine doesn't look like that. My life doesn't look like that. My financial situation doesn't look like that. My yeah. job doesn't look yeah. like that." Wow. And wow. like God's never been concerned with appearance. That's, God's yeah. never been mm. concerned with like what we look like in the season that we're in, or what we look like that uh, like with the season we're about to come out of. Yeah. Like God's just focused on the heart, and like God saw David's heart, but like before anything else. Like Samuel was so caught up in like, this is a strong man. Like this, this could be the next. Like this could be the next king, or this could be the next king. Just by looking at him, like he looks like a king. He looks like he can hold a kingdom. He looks like he can fight. Mm-hmm. And like God's like, don't worry about any of that. Yeah. <laughs> don't worry yeah. about what it looks like to you. Like trust me, and that the next king would be this this shepherd, this stinky shepherd that just walks in after all the other sons have been introduced yeah. to like uh, introduced to him. yeah and like that's just so like that's so comforting 
to 100%. know God like yeah. isn't into like what your what your pottery looks like, what your vessel looks like, or what you're going to look like in the season to other people or to your peers or what you're going to look like like to anyone. Yeah. Like yeah. he's just so so like I've got this. I've got you on the wheel. Yeah. You're centered. As long as you're centered with me, you have nothing to worry oh, about. Man. And like that's just so There's so many of us that think that like we're not good enough. And oh, yeah. the fact that God literally chose, you know, I mean, as we would physically judge someone, the mm. worst of all the brothers, you know, Pretty much, yeah. like, I mean, just think I'm, I was just reminded of like a team, you know, you're picking your basketball team, or football team, you know, you're trying to pick, you're picking the best player, like the one player you wouldn't want to choose. Yeah. You know, because he's like, you know, not physically there or he's you yeah. know, fit, fit or it doesn't like, look too, he's, he's not tall he's enough, not big enough, tall yeah. enough. <laughs> But that guy is going to be the king. Mm. Like, that's so encouraging. You know, it's, yeah. it's not about what we think physically, mm. you know. It's, we, we can't understand it. So, yeah. it's encouraging. God, yeah. God is just so good like that. <laughs> so good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, thanks for joining us for this weekly webisode. We hope it's blessed you. Yeah. And we hope it blesses your week even further. And we pray that, you know, it moves in your hearts, your minds, your spirits. And we just... You know, I just want to thank Ian for being with me on this You're welcome. episode. You're welcome. very welcome, sir. <laughs> and uh, we'll be seeing you all sometime during the week at Circles. Yeah. And we'll be seeing you on Sunday as well. So have a blessed week and we'll see you when we see you. We'll see you. Thanks for joining us here on the Royals YouTube channel. If this has blessed you, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you for another glorious gathering.